Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michelle. And I'm Ken, and today we're here to review and talk about the last movie that we're going to review on our 13 Days of Horror. Yeah. Reanimator. Reanimator. Reanimator? I hardly knew her. Um, huh? You think that's funny? Is that is that in the movie? <laughs> no, it's oh, not okay. in the movie. It's just the... I'm like, I do not follow, but yeah. Michael you... Scott humor. Oh, so, typical. Yeah. Um, yeah, na you know, naturally you have to show off the physical media. Copy. I do. This is the Arrow Limited Edition Blu-ray Steelbook because this movie has yet to receive a, the 4K treatment. Even though so. we are not, I repeat, not a physical media channel. But, you know, anyway. We, but because we'll, of me, we do watch a lot of stuff on physical media. Um. <laughs> quite a bit. Quite a bit. I'd say um, half and half at least. Anyway, uh, do you have any anything you want to say before we get started? Yeah, before we talk about Reanimator, yeah. if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Also, hit like the this, like button. Excuse you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like sorry. Like this video. That's, Sometimes that's I get my on a part. roll, okay? That's my part. Um, and also, comment down below, have you seen Reanimator, the classic horror film from 1985 directed by Stuart Gordon. The year you were born. The year I was born. Fun fact about Stuart Gordon, he also directed another great horror film called From Beyond, but he was also responsible uh, for writing Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Oh, fun. So that's okay. that's where his career kind of kinda ended up. So he's yeah. he's got a lot of cool stuff on his resume. But yeah, let's let's get into it. Reanimator. This is a wild and crazy flick. Uh, what did yeah. you think of it? This was... This is my, I think, third time watching, but this is your first time. I thought you said two, you watched it twice. Uh, maybe twice. I thought that was your second time. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I was thinking of something else. But, um, yeah, so this, I, I believe that this movie was on our list last year as well. Was yes, it? it was. Okay, it yeah. Was. So I feel like um, this movie, I don't know, I just feel like I've been, it's like been on the horizon for me to watch, you know, finally for a while. Um, I feel like I've just always heard of it, uh, you know, seen it in the, the movie community and everything. And so definitely was curious about it just based on, you know, like the, I guess the classic poster of the, the head, you know? Yeah. Um, it, you know, the just... The scientist with the serum. Right, yeah. Know. Definitely, you know, piqued my interest. Um, but yeah, all of that to say, I feel like I'm still processing this movie, um, did we just finish it last night? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. I, I, I don't I, know. I will say I'm loving the uh, the era of Michelle getting into the the '80s horror films. You, right. You've watched a lot. Like you're I've moving watched, up. You yeah. Know, your horror cred has increased drastically. Yeah. Over the past um, few years. Yeah, I'm still. You know, maybe I'll work through my thoughts as we talk about it. Um, but this, I don't. You know, without like spoiling too much about the movie, I guess. Um, this one definitely just gave me like Return of the Living Dead vibes. Yeah. Um, it just kind of reminded me. Both came me, out in the same year. It kind of, you know, just reminded me of, uh, you know, zombies, I guess, um, yeah. because it's like people coming back from the dead. Um, obviously, it's a little bit different, but it just it still felt very similar to me. It, it plays in that genre for sure. I think there's a group of people that would put this in the zombie, you know, genre category. Yeah. I don't know if I would entirely just because it is something a little bit different. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I wouldn't fault anybody or say you're wrong for saying this is a zombie film yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah, it just, um, you know, for me, I think why I'm kind of like processing how I feel about it is like the way that it made me feel like emotionally. No. Oh. Um, <laughs> Reanimator oh. cut, cut you to the core, huh? Well, not like that, but like those type of movies where it deals with like, you know, realistic people and like, you know, a morgue and like, pe you know, dead people and then yeah. coming back to life, but they're like unnatural. You know, it also kind of reminded me of like Pet Cemetery a little bit. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I don't think I got it the first time I watched it, but I got the Pet Cemetery vibes like all over the place. It really is, especially like when you factor in the ending to this movie, yeah. like it's very Pet Cemetery. Yeah, it, it, like. it just, um, those are just kind of the vibes that I got from it. And like, all of those movies, like you know, the the Return of the Living Dead and uh, Pet Cemetery, and I don't know, they just make me feel a certain way, and I think it kind of just ties into like death, you know, yeah. um, and 
just how I don't know. There's just something about seeing bodies in the in the morgue and like yeah. it just gives me the eebie-jeebies. Yeah, I mean, and I will say like this movie is a horror comedy, you know, at the end of the day. But I yeah. think that it does. I mean, it is kind of wacky and goofy and comedic in style, but. I don't know. I think it, it really like leans heavy into the horror as well. Yeah. And I would almost say it's it's more of a horror film and does give you an uneasy feeling like throughout when you watch it. Yeah. And it I, is a comedy. Yeah. I can definitely, you know, see how you say that it's like a little comedic. Just like some of the scenes are like they do like kind of lean a little to the goofier side, I guess. Yeah. But still to me, there's just still a lot of like really like frightening images i mean nobody in the movie's like winking at the camera like everybody's delivering their lines and just delivering the material like yeah. it is 100 percent serious but yeah um i don't know i i really like Stuart gordon he kind of does the same thing with from beyond like it it's there's a lot of things about it that are goofy but the way they're delivered is in a very like serious um manner yeah which i i think kind of increases the um, the horror of the film, honestly, and yeah. the scare factor. So yeah, um, yeah, I, I enjoy Reanimator. I like it. I still, I, I think I like From Beyond more. And I've not seen that. If we're so. talking about Stuart Gordon films, but I think Reanimator, it's it's definitely a classic. I mean, Jeffrey Combs in the movie, he plays mm-hmm. the character of Herbert West. It's a very quirky performance, but I do think it's kind of an iconic performance. Yeah. I mean, I agree with you. I felt like everybody was, uh, you know, really good. Um, there there definitely were some interesting choices. Um, I, I don't think I necessarily expected uh, as much, like, nudity as there was. Yeah. There's definitely, like... Barbara a, Crampton lays it all on the line in this movie. Yeah, there's <laughs> definitely sure. some nudity. Um, there's even some, like, nudity with, like, some of the, you know, undead, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you even caught that, but, um, Oh, I did. Unfortunately. (laughs) Wow. Um, but yeah, I don't know. You know, I'm not trying to say that this movie wasn't good. I just, because of the way that it made me feel, I just can't see myself watching it again. Yeah. Because it just made me feel kind of icky, almost kind of like not quite as, I don't know. There's just something about those movies that just really like make me feel kind of like Hellraiser and... Yeah, um, I, I mean, know, I would say just... Hellraiser a little bit more serious, but yeah. I don't know, like, the more I think about it, I was going to come into this review now and say, this is a fun, you know, quirky 80s horror comedy. I but don't see it The more I'm kind of talking with you about yeah. it, it is, it, it, I don't think it is as silly as I kind of made it out to be in my in my head. It yeah. is, um, it is pretty dark and it is pretty twisted, like, mm-hmm. throughout some of the things that happen, especially to Barbara Crampton and, like, the third act of the movie and the yeah. head kind of rolling around and where it goes and yeah and just like it's stuff that i feel like if it was delivered by another filmmaker like maybe it would be silly and funny but like in the hands of Stuart gordon in this film like for some reason it just it's almost like uh just makes you feel uneasy yeah um yeah i mean like, oh it's just kind of disturbing when you watch it yeah i don't know it just uh gave me the ebgb i do want to talk about i think the movie you know as the theme with a lot of 80s horror movies, the special effects, the makeup effects, they're fantastic in this mm-hmm. movie, um, for sure. This is a movie I think would, would look fantastic in 4K, so I hope it does get a 4K at some point. Mm-hmm. I like the color aesthetic with the serum, just how exaggerated they make like that look. It's like neon, glowing, yeah. bright neon green. Um, I just think the movie's got a really cool like aesthetic, mm-hmm. too, and I think all the makeup effects and um, practical effects are just perfectly utilized and... It doesn't feel like it's overdone, like they're not overutilizing it, but for the scenes that have it, I don't know, I just think it's the perfect amount um, in this movie. So, yeah. yeah, I liked all that. Yeah, um, so I'll just kind of like wrap up, I guess, my, my final thoughts. But um, I feel like this is, I'll say I recommend it. I'm going to say I recommend it. Um, I But for for me, it's like a one and done. Yeah. Um, so I do recommend that you see it at least once because I do feel like it is, you know, a well done movie. Um, but depending on how, I guess it, it makes you feel personally. Um, I just don't, I don't know. I just don't want to feel that way again. (laughs) Well, I, I do think you should watch from beyond. I want to see how you feel about Mm -hmm. that because there are some very kind of disturbing, sinister things about that movie, but it's in a different way. Mm -hmm. Like it's not. You know, bodies, undead bodies coming back to life, like that kind of stuff. It's more like otherworldly, like other dimensional mm, stuff that's happening. Gotcha. 
creatures coming through from another dimension, things like that. But it's gotcha. equally as like, I don't know, kind of disturbing and surreal yeah, like, in nature. Again, for me, it just has to do with like this, like I guess the subject matter, just like, you know, the mm. morgue, dead bodies. The cats. Br- bringing them back. It's just like. The cat ugh. stuff's kind of disturbing too, the way they, the yeah. way they do the cat. And again, like that's a scene that could could have been like very comedic. I feel and like in another that, filmmaker's hands, but like for some reason this movie. That part was kind of silly, but like. Yeah, it is. Like when you're watching like, oh, this is silly. Like the cat's coming back to life and you can tell it's not a real cat and it's like moving around. Well, it was just silly like with the way that they like throw it in one part. like. But it but, is kind of like, well, that was their cat that was just walking around a second ago and he was a normal cat. And now he's a freaking undead cat. I don't yeah. know. It's just, there's something about it that is a Hence little bit Hence the unsettling. Pet cemetery, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't draw that connection before, but yeah, there's definitely Pet cemetery. um comparisons all over this movie and i i don't know of course this came before the movie but i don't know if stephen king wrote the book before reanimator came out or not oh yeah um but there you go guys that's our review of reanimator i would recommend it as well i think this is a really good um 80s horror movie for sure with some great practical effects but thank you all for watching this review hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and also comment down below your thoughts on the movie and we'll see you next time